Well, hi there. I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube. And today I'm going to color a ginormous cupcake and get two cards out of it. When I purchased this Colorado Craft Company stamp set, I did not realize quite how big that cupcake was. But, you know, there is not a problem with sugar being really big. And cupcakes are delicious, so there you go. I decided I would color it with my Copic markers, so I got out a bunch of colors. If you want to pin this image along with the image of the cards, you're welcome to do that. And then they're both together there on your Pinterest. And I just started in on the coloring. Made my strawberry have some pink highlights to it. And then going into some really deep, deep, rich reds as I get into the shadows. Then came the decision about what kind of frosting to do. Because part of every cupcake has to be chocolate. And either the frosting or the cupcake, if not both, have to be chocolate. I don't write the rules. I just follow the rules. So there you go. It's just a rule. And, you know, don't, don't yell at me over that. I decided for cream cheese frosting on this one. And so I'm putting some kind of cream colors over the whole thing, leaving some white highlights, and then adding brown shadows around each one of those sections where there's a line across it. Because the lines indicate each of the folds of the frosting as they kind of cascade around the cupcake. And then blended them in, and then I'll add in a little bit more of a, a light color in the highlight areas, but still leaving some white there because I don't want my frosting to get too dark and just get everything all nicely blended. And since, of course, this is the cream cheese frosting on the top section, the cupcake has to be chocolate because we're not going to break the rules of the universe when we color sugary treats. Because I am like a five-year-old when it comes to things like cupcakes. There are people who are just they like the cake thing and they don't want the frosting or they always pick the piece of cake from the sheet cake that doesn't have the roses on it or whatever and I am the five-year-old who always wants the piece with the frosting and the rose and everything now there are some nasty frostings but in general I'm I'm still that little kid give me the sugar I know it's bad for me but there you go it is my vice I decided to make the wrapper on this the same colors as the strawberry, and then that would all coordinate with each other. The way that you can do these little folds, these little zigzags, so that the pleats look like pleats, is on the ones that are facing the left side, then put the shadows on the right side, and then the ones facing the right side, you put the shadows on the left. So you end up with just the outside edges of each one of those zigzags being the thing that's got the highlight on it, because... Everything else recedes toward the cupcake. Not sure if that explanation is making any sense, but you just want those tips to have the highlight on them. So again, if you want to pin that one so you can follow it when you color, that might be helpful. And then finish all of that blending, get it all nice and smooth-ish. Decided to make my cupcake a little darker and add a little texture to it. So I went in with a really dark brown, and then I'll add in a little bit of detail on my strawberry by adding some white pen for the little seeds. And the seeds can either be dark or light, and sometimes there's both, I guess, on strawberries, but I decided to just make mine all white. And then I wanted sprinkles, because, you know, sprinkles are a thing. They're yummy. So I put in some black dots because I wanted to add some white highlights onto them. There are some little marks and, and things made on the frosting itself on the stamp, but those didn't look much like sprinkles. They looked more like the texture of the frosting itself. So I added my own. And you could add this instead of using white pen, you can use some sort of a, you know, a, a Nouveau Drops or something to make those uh, dimensional and colored. And then I went over the wrapper with just a little bit of a wink of Stella. Just give it a little bit of a shine. And then I fussy cut it out. There's not a whole lot of fussy cutting except for around this top section. The rest of it was just big chunks, so it was super easy. It's only this top section that needed a little bit of fussing. So I'm going around that with my favorite EK scissors that uh, work really well for a lot of the detailed fussy cutting. And now comes the part, don't cry, don't cry. There's no screams going on, there's no blood. But I've got my image in my trimmer. And I'm just chopping it in half. I know. 
There are people who are probably very sad right now, but it is the way it is because I get two cards out of this. And for that much coloring, it's always nice to have an extra card from one bit of stamping and coloring. So I've got my layers on my paper. That light brown paper is actually a wood grain paper that I don't think exists anymore, but it was in my stash and it went with the colors. So I used it. I apologize for using something you can't go get. The little strawberry leaf up on top was lonely and I decided it would be better if he weren't there at all because it looked kind of weird to only have one. And then I had to add my sentiments. So I decided I would put it in the misty to do that and get them lined up nicely. And on this wood grain paper, if you've ever used wood grain, sometimes if you get a long part of the actual grain in it, then your ink will splooge a little bit up the grain. So I used my Onyx Black from Versafine in order to make sure that I kind of get it stamped once really well. If you put too much ink on these, sometimes you just get some really strange little stamping effects. So I've got the... Uh, Bible verse on this one and we'll stamp a different sentiment on the other card. To finish off my card I wanted to add a little bit of something to it so you use my Connect Glue from Gina K. Added on some Essentials by Ellen Embellishments. These are supposed to be Christmas ornaments but they work great on something like this. And I used my Quick Stick to pick them up because my fingers are no longer tiny like they once were. And there are my finished cards with the embellishments in two sets of threes. Threes above and threes below is kind of my little rule of thumb. And then I wanted to share one other thing, which is this card is going to be over on IGTV Instagram. And I believe I can put a link to it in the description after it's live that you can watch even if you're not on Instagram. So you can still watch this one. There's no voiceover, but I thought you'd enjoy a no line coloring and we'll do chocolate frosting on that one. So there you go. That's about all I have for you today. Hope you have a great day. Click the like button, subscribe, favorite, all that good stuff. Share with your friends if they like giant cupcakes. And I'll see you guys again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.